Hey y'all, uh, I figured I'd shoot a real quick video before I head over to Mike and Brenda's. I've been using my, you know, my Testo 550 here on uh, R22. You know, I've been using it on my personal system to, you know, just to try to figure out how the how the uh, how the tool works and everything. You know, it's a it's an expensive piece of equipment, and I want to make sure I'm doing stuff right. So, anyway, um, let's see. I called the manufacturer and. Uh, talked to a feller on there John I believe his name was but anyway he told me that the best thing to do you know being that it does do 30 refrigerants and there's no point in going out and buying two of them uh, he said the best thing to do was get yourself two sets of hoses now of course y'all seen these from my other video these are my uh, 72 inch uh, yellow jackets with the ball valves and I actually went ahead and I uh, you know I guess you know took it to the next level or whatever but I went ahead and marked everything like R22 you know all of them were marked uh, R22 and whatnot and I took these and you know just in case I sent somebody to the truck or whatever and they didn't know what to grab you know these are marked R410A I just don't want to contaminate both you know contaminate the refrigerant here uh, Jason also asked me about uh, about the ball valves um, the way I was explaining to was with these ball valves what you do is you you know you get your testo 550 set up and you you know you put your clamps on there you put your temperature clamps on there first then you take and you zero out your instrument you know of course you're gonna have your you're gonna have your already hooked to it now you know what I'm saying Jason it'll already be hooked to it but then you're gonna hook hook your hook your uh, uh, temperature clamps to it and then you're gonna zero your instrument out okay zero it out and then you're gonna slowly uh, you know throttle in your refrigerants you know what I'm saying? Either R22 or R410A, what have you. And uh, that's just the way they explained it to me, and that way you can actually zero out the uh, the uh, the Testo 550. But anyway, I also talked to uh, the manufacturer, and uh, I was worried about contaminating, you know, con you know, using contaminating the system I'm getting ready to go on. So uh, basically, like I said, he told me to get the two different sets of hoses, and then you know, I know nobody likes dragging their damn nit nitrogen tank out. But, uh, and it's usually stuck in the back somewhere. But, uh, you know, I mean, this is what we're going to have to do to utilize this tool, I guess. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and use my little handy dandy line here. You know, I usually use it to, to blow stuff out, purge stuff, you know, like when you're doing, uh, if you have to absolutely run uh, uh, 410A through a 22 system, you better purge it and you better use the right stuff and while you're doing it. But, anyway, um, I like using that to blow out lines too, but uh, if I ever come upon anything, no matter what the difficulty is, um, as long as I can get to it, I don't care if I have to crawl or what have you, I'm going to run new line sets of 410A. Okay, well there's my preaching done for the day. Alright, so basically what he told me to do here was, you know, take, take your nitrogen, hook it to your inlet port here, and then just, uh, you know, I've got it, I've got it, uh, let's see, I'll just bring it up to about I don't know let's say 200 now nah, let's say 250 but I'm not going to throttle that much through it okay all right so basically this is what you're going to do so you're just going to take and you're going to open up your low side let that blow for a minute or two okay now we're going to take and uh, we're going to open up the high side And now, to make sure we got it all out, I guess, I'm going to open them both. Okay, y'all are going to bit so you need, uh, going through a lot of uh, a lot of nitrogen, but, you know, it's well worth it. And, I mean, hell, how much is a can of that? About 15 bucks. You know, so I'm going to do this on all jobs. I'm actually going to purge it every time, I, every time I use it. You know, like I said, I know it's a pain in the neck to break your heavy-ass nitrogen bottle out, and it's usually stuck in the back somewhere where you can't freaking get to it. But anyway, I'm sure it's going to be well worth it. So uh, I hope that answered some of your questions. Um, I reckon I'll talk with y'all later. I'm going to head over to Mike and Brenda's and go check their 410A out. So we'll see you soon.